Hello from Gardening at Dwensa here in Ireland and you're very welcome to this video 12 plant days of Christmas. So it's a bit of a mixed bag it's obviously Christmas themed but it's what I as a gardener and a plants person and orchid lover am doing for the 12 days before Christmas. So this video is the first four days. Enjoy! You're very welcome to this 12 days of Christmas Gardener's Christmas and I just want to prefix by saying that on the 21st of October Ireland became the first European country to return to nationwide shutdown to save Christmas. So the idea was that we should spend six weeks in lockdown, nationwide lockdown, and then on the 1st of December everybody could go out and do their Christmas shopping and mingle and meet their friends etc. Of course with certain restrictions in place. So you can imagine on the 1st of December when lockdown was lifted the first place I headed to and it was to my local garden centre. Now one thing I will note you really know you've been in lockdown too long when you go out and you look down and you realise that you forgot to put on your shoes you're actually wearing your gardening crocs couldn't believe this when I spotted them. But anyway, I wasn't going back. I'd been looking forward to this moment for far too long. So in my local garden centre, I went in for perlite, but of course I had to have a look at the houseplant section and I couldn't believe it. They had two beautiful aloes for sale. It was like they were made for me. <laughs> I'm currently going through a bit of an aloe obsession and to find two beauties like this available at my local garden centre was quite unbelievable. I was absolutely delighted. So, just back from my shopping expedition and of course I was googling these beauties on the way back in the car because they are both marked snowflake. Can you believe it? How can they both be snowflake? And they have gorgeous markings. Look at them. So we'll just bring you in there to have a look at that. Anyway, as far as I can make out, there was a common name for a certain aloha Raui, I think it was, and the common name was the snowflake aloha. And it looked something like this one here because it's green with dots of what looked like snowflake there in the foreground. So that was the snowflake aloha. And then I think, not altogether sure, at some stage it threw up a sport which looked like this. And this one has the cultivar name of aloha snowflake. So this is the snowflake aloha and this is aloha snowflake, I think. Isn't that gas? Anyway, they're both beauties, absolutely delighted and both have little pups in there with, with this one here. That one is true to form. Maybe the second pup has reverted to just, I don't know, plain green so it's less interesting. And on this one there's a, there's a spike, but unfortunately I didn't have my glasses with me when I was in the shop, so I didn't realise it had blasted. But you know what, never mind. I'm still absolutely delighted with this addition to my Aloha collection. I just can't believe I managed to get them in a local garden centre. On the day that quarantine was lifted as well, I think it did well. Today has started so very differently and on my way out to the greenhouse just to open it up in the morning this is the horrific sight that awaited me. I was thinking what the heck happened? How is the bubble wrap all pulled down? So of course I open up and in I go and everything looks normal in here so far. Trying to peek between the plants and if you look in there the lower strip of bubble wrap has been torn down, completely torn down. And when I say torn, I mean torn because these clips, they were holding it up and it has been wrenched from below, ripping the bubble wrap. So trying to 
put it back up again is a real nightmare. I have to hoist it up a bit further. There are bubbles burst. Basically, as insulation goes, this lower segment is not doing the job anymore, but I just can't be taking all the plants out and redoing it. And what's it due to? I'll tell you exactly what it's due to. It's due to the cat having been locked in here overnight. Now, oh yes, I know, this is my fault. I locked her in. Unfortunately, the bubble wrap has holes in, in places. Sometimes big ones, like right down here by the epithelms, where she tried to claw out. And over here is what caused it all. So you see that gap in the shelving there? That's where I removed a plant last night. I came in in the dark to bring in my Compton's carousel because I noticed it had some rotting in it. And then I thought I'll just bring it indoors so that it gets a chance to dry out properly and perhaps I won't lose it. This is my other Compton's carousel. And it must have been last night when I came out to get this plant, the cat sneaked in. And this evening's job is a lot more fiddly than anything I've been doing just recently. And it involves sorting out some seeds to send to people who are involved in memberships on the channel. And I have a variety of garden seeds here, which I've already stored in little plastic packets. So this job involves taking them out and putting them into other packets for different people. I think this seed here is Dictamnus, a beautiful, beautiful pink garden plant that is fully hardy here for me in Ireland and one of my absolute favourites. I'll be sowing this myself a little bit later on. So next thing is to just label those seeds, a little bit of paper and then I write the name on and pop it into the sachet. And this is all ready to get posted off to my lovely members. Now we have another type of seed and this is Fuchsia Boliviana, which because it's Fuchsia seed is very, very fine and oh my goodness, this was such a devil to extract from the fruits, the ripened fruits that the plant produces. I had to <laughs> wash it and put it through a sieve. And of course the sieve that you put it through, the, it was too big and the seed went through the little holes and it was really fiddly. But I do have some seed and I'm putting some in sachets to send off to some people and this seed is seed that needs to be sown fresh so I'm just going to use it all up there's no point in keeping it because when somebody next asks for it it'll not be fresh anymore we'll just put a little bit extra in these two sachets and for whoever gets my seeds I wish you the very very best and happy sowing Try popping the orchid in over here if I can position it correctly so that we can get a proper look at it. 
and to see her in all her fine glory with the light behind her. It's always difficult in winter to find a position where we can get good light to show off our lovely winter flowering Cattleyas. And I do love the winter flowering ones. They really cheer me up on nasty cold days in winter. And it's a bit hard to make out the deep dark colour of the lip here, but I can assure you it's a very dark and deep magenta colour. Very pretty. But the main striking point with this orchid is the yellow stripes. And you can see that this isn't actually white, it's kind of a pale yellow. And then each petal and sepal has a yellow stripe down the middle, which extends out. And this is still holding itself up really rather well. Now the petals haven't opened fully. You see there, it could be better if they were to open like that. But maybe next time round with the next flowering, it'll work better. But I'm quite happy with the shape of the petals. They're very species-like rather than hybrid-like and uh, a really, really pretty thing. And you'll recall that this is one that's quite new for me. I got it earlier on this year, bought it from a nursery in Germany and my friend sent it to me. And it has done really, really well. And the roots as well. Lots and lots of roots with green tips. Oops. Which I am endeavouring to show you right now. This is grown under the grow light. And um, I only have one flower, but I think I'm pleased with that. And as we come to the end of this video, I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. And I will remind you to look out for the next two instalments that will be coming your way very soon. In the meantime, do check out Bumblebee's channel because she's doing a vlog mass as well about orchids on the run up to Christmas. And if you're stalled for something to do as well, there's always my 12 days of Christmas video, which I made a few years ago, which I'll link to somewhere here at the end. Okay, happy Christmas!